I don't know how to how to describe it. You know, it's it's a feeling that uh, for some reason it's you want to do it again and again. There is a saying, you know, that the tug is the drug. It's it's really addictive. Seriously. If I have to go fishing to some other places, you know, even with my friends, you know, it's okay, I can go, but, you know, once you are into one of these monsters, you know, the rest is, you know, it's, it's difficult, you know, to, to enjoy it. Jose Menendez came from Spain when he was 16 years old. He came to Punta Arenas, Chile. Then he met Maria Betty, his future wife, and founded a estancia here. It is the original estancia. They also have the sort of large stretch of water, and there's other lodges on the river. But uh, in particular, this lodge as well has a very informal, relaxed atmosphere. Uh, it, it's a really nice mix of people. In 1950, John Goodall, he brought the trouts here and seated here in the river. At first, the first years uh, were very little until they started to go to the sea. And when they come back, they acquired that size. After a good breakfast, the guides will pick you up uh, we fish four hours in the morning. Uh, we do it from 8 a.m. to 12. The main meal at lunchtime can be out at the barbecue house, which has recently built a new one overlooking the river. For example, today we had the sodero uh, asado, which is the uh, roast lamb over the open fire. Absolutely, stupendously good. You can indulge yourself with a glass or two of wine and then have a siesta before you go out for the evening session. You know, you could, you could expect, you know, anything from this river. Even in tough conditions, in days that, you know, nothing is going on, you go to a one spot which, you know, doesn't have the best reputation and you have the greatest fishing of your life. And I've seen it many times that to happen. Even, you know, in, in low water, when people say, no, in low water, you won't see him or anything. And we catch him on floating, you know, on the, on the surface. It's amazing, you know. And, I've been here for so many years, there is questions that I can't answer. And this river gives me surprises every day, you know. Surprisingly, for such a bleak and desolate place, it has an immense beauty about it. You know, the mornings are just glorious. You can see the tail of the Andes mountains, snow-capped peaks, mountains in the distance, and then you get this desolate, barren landscape. But what is incredible, it's rich with uh, life. Tonight I was fishing on one of the pools and I was watching on the other side where I was casting there was this fox just hunting and pouncing on its prey. Very rich uh, wildlife and bird life. You won't be disappointed in that, that's for sure. The lodge is like a tiny community. It's like a tiny village. We are in a very privileged position in the river because we have a beautiful view and also it's a good place to start going to the pools. You get driven, literally driven to the side of the river, so there's no access uh, issues. It means that you, you do get your hours in, you have two sessions a day, and uh, because you can get driven to the riverbank, uh, you actually you know, can really maximise your time on the water. Everybody enjoys to be here. The guests, because they are here doing what they most like to do and we because we also like to be here so most of the guests come back most of them come back if they are first timers the 90% of them will come back 
So we know each other 